offense or defense, you know, you won't get your whole scheme in in the first spring, but you hope by the by the end of your first camp in August that you got 90% of your offense in. Now, but getting it in and being able to execute is two different things. So I would think or if we finished up by year three, you have a playbook of this long, year one is going to be that big. I would rather keep it simple and play faster than just barrage you with a bunch of different kind of plays. You know, I, no, defensively, I'm a little bit more of an open book. I like the odd front stuff, but nowadays, everybody defensively runs everything. You know, they run first and second down defense, and third down, they run the different exotic defenses, odd stuff. Uh, so really, it's going to depend on the coordinator, I think, and the defensive staff. We'll get together and then decide that uh, probably in you know, three, four weeks. Again, what made this job so attractive? Well, you know, besides the obvious of, you know, this is a, Tucson, Arizona is a destination place, you know, certainly for people to live. It's a, it's a school that you know I would think that, that anybody in the country would want to come to. And you've had great athletic tradition, and you've had and you've been close in football. You know, I was just looking today that uh, when Coach Tony was here in '94, right? And they, they were on the cover of Sports Illustrated. And Arizona was preseason ranked number one. So you've been close before. And Coach Duke, you know, this midseason last year, you know, had had gotten it to a certain level. So. Uh, but what I have to do is find out okay, exactly where we're at. So part of my job in spring is to teach, but also to evaluate, kind of see where we're at, and then I have a better idea how long it's going to take. And I do think I know what it takes to go to BCS Bowls, be in the top ten, and the competition is, is obviously going to keep getting stronger because the way the Pac-12 is, I think, committing to their programs. But we can get there because, you know, you look at other schools in our league, they've had great success. Well, they have that we don't. I think we have some advantages over there. How do you think it would be different for you to be at a basketball school? Well, you know, I, somebody's asked me. I'm glad we're known for something. <laughs> you, know? you know, not just basketball, but we, you know, you know, how about our softball program, right? And we've had great. So that tells me, what, you know, to me, that's an attractive thing because you've been able to attract high quality athletes here and high quality coaches. You know, so you've had great coaches here. You have great coaches here and great athletes. So if you can attract them in other sports. You can do it in football. You've been on both sides now of the camera. Talk about kind of the reality versus the desire of immediate success and in kind of today's society. Yeah, everybody, you know, there's less patience now. I mean, trust me, I know more than anybody. They want to